What's up everyone, welcome back to another video here on my channel today, this is iCrazy Teddy. And a couple weeks ago I brought you guys the top 5 facts for Grand Theft Auto, this time we have 5 more facts and this is a special GTA 5 edition. Guarantee a lot of you guys will not know some of the facts I'm going to be presenting in this video. As always the like goal for this series is 5,000 likes, guys make it happen, subscribe if you are new, and if you have any awesome and interesting facts for the next episode, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section for any GTA. However, this particular video is going to be GTA 5 and let's get this shit kick started. I'll also leave credit to where I found these down below in the description. So, coming in at number one, Ice Cube. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what the hell has he got to do with GTA? We got a funny ass little picture on the screen right now. Sean Fantino, aka Franklin, also known as Solo, shared a story once about how he once beat up Ice Cube and took his chain. I always knew Franklin was a gangster in game, but never did I know that he was such a badass in real life. As you guys may know, Ice Cube, he's one badass motherfucker, and to be able to beat him up and take his chain, you gotta have some big balls to do that. Coming in at number two, real gangsters. Rockstar hired real gangsters to voice the members of gangs in GTA 5. To add an air of authenticity to the game, the gangsters even provided some of their own content lines. Coming in at number three, and keep in mind things are gonna be getting interesting as we get from one all the way to ten. Family Matters, the rapper Young Melee who played CJ in San Andreas and Sean Fantino who plays Franklin in GTA 5 are actually cousins in real life. I already knew this and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys did and let's jump into some facts that a majority of you guys may not know about. In at number 4, Rivalry Colours. The colours worn by two gangs in GTA 5 is based on Edinburgh based football clubs where Rockstar North is actually located and comes from, not real world gangs. This was actually a massive and common misconception within the GTA community and wanted to clear it up. I actually never knew about this until I actually did some digging myself and figured out it was actually true. In at number 5, Japanese magazine Famitsu gave GTA 5 a perfect score of 40 out of 40, which would kind of be like 10 out of 10 IGN. I'm not really sure why they went for 40, but the only other game to actually earn or obtain a perfect score like this is Skyrim, which of course is another really awesome open world game, which I'd recommend you guys check out if you haven't already. GTA 5, of course, is better than Skyrim in my opinion. Coming in at number 6, and this is where things get a little bit interesting, multi-character play. Now, GTA San Andreas was originally slated to allow players to take on roles of several characters. Maybe you may have been able to control Big Smoke or they were planning on letting you do some rider missions, playing as rider. However, this didn't make it into the game for technical issues. They couldn't do this. However, GTA 5 made this a reality. You know what? If Rockstar Games were to go back into GTA San Andreas, I would love to play as some of those awesome characters that they did have available. If you were to play as one character from GTA San San Andreas on a whole new story mode or mission itself, what would it be? Let me know down below in the comment section. Coming in at number 7, now I think you guys should definitely drop a like on the video, maybe share it to let people know about this whole misconception that is going on and Lindsay Lohan herself. The bikini model girl in GTA 5, the infamous model girl in GTA 5 isn't actually based off Lindsay Lohan, a lot of people already know this, however she still feels like it is, but rather the model Shelby Walinda as you guys can see, as you guys can see the likeness to the image on the left is definitely a lot more significant compared to what Lindsay Lohan was trying to portray looked like her. In at number 8, this is something really really interesting and I didn't know about until the past couple days. Sandy Shores is actually based on Bombay Beach. A failed town that was designed as a desert oasis, Bombay Beach serves as an inspiration for Sandy Shores. This is actually kind of like trailer parks now but at one point was actually a thriving resort for tourism and a bunch of other cool stuff that you could have went down and done. However, as you guys may know, Trevor lives there, it's now run down, broken up and it's not even worth visiting anymore. Second before last, as you guys can see, we got Tubby Lumpkins aka Little Pete from Pete and Pete. Do you guys remember Little Pete from Pete and Pete? I don't know, maybe your parents might, but the actor that plays Michael's son in GTA 5 is actually that dude. You guys can probably see the resemblance in all three images. You know, him in the middle is when he was young, him on the right is him now, and then on the far left is him on GTA with his Xbox headset on going crazy. Last but certainly not least, in at number 10, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are fresh Prince of Bel-Air fans or you used to watch it back in the day. Auntie Vivi's is actually 
Aunt Denise. Yes, the actress who played Auntie Vivian in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air actually plays Aunt Denise. That's actually something pretty cool and awesome to find out. To be honest, I probably knew around about 3 out of 10 of these facts to be confirmed before making this video, but after doing a little bit more research and digging, Going through websites such as the one that I credited down below in the description is really awesome to know some of these great facts about Grand Theft Auto. If you guys know any, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. As always, let's make this video surpass 5,000 likes, that'd be crazy and it would definitely make my day. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Take care everyone, it's been awesome speaking to you. Peace out.